Well, hello, everyone. I am so excited to be here today with Stacy Dykstra with the Regional Food Bank of Oklahoma. Stacy, thank you so much. If you would let everyone know to start out, who is Stacy? What do you get to do in life professionally and maybe something fun you do or enjoy in life as well? Okay, well, thank you, first of all, how grateful I am for you all to lift up women in general during this month and um, all the time and all the great work you all do at the Hawk Agency, so thank you, but um, personally, I'm married to the love of my life and my high school sweetheart, and we are so grateful to have two compassionate, hardworking, curious daughters and a huge extended family, and so my favorite thing in the world to do is to spend time with family. I love holidays where we get all the extended family together, we make sure we see everybody. And so that's really great. And one of the things that I love doing, and my, thankfully my husband loves it too, but we love to find creative ways to be active, you know, to find ways to yeah. get some exercise and try new mm -hmm. things. And that's really what we enjoy now, kind of into paddle boarding right now. So that's fun. That's, yeah. So that's kind of interesting. It's very challenging, especially to find the a day when there's not too much wind because yes. you can get yourself out in the middle of the lake <laughs> in trouble. Yeah. Very quick. Stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And professionally, you know, I get to work with these bright, inspiring people who are all committed to making the world a better place for all of us. So I think I have the greatest job in the whole world. Um, I've always thought of work as an adventure each mm -hmm. day as kind of a challenging puzzle to solve, if you will. And so uh -huh. um I probably back to my early childhood educator roots, but to me, to set the stage for success, you're creating the right environment. And so I'm always trying to get better at creating an environment where people can fail, they can succeed. They're always learning and developing um, and becoming the best versions of themselves because when they're their best versions of themselves, they're applying themselves always, right, fully to the work. Mm -hmm. And that creates powerful impact that like ripples out through our state in this case. And that's a pretty special thing to get to be part of. I love that so much good in that. And, you know, this month we and why we're doing this um, in particular is because it is Women's History Month and we want to take some time out, um, especially always, but especially during this time to honor women, to honor you. Um, but if you would take a moment and maybe honor someone in your life, who, do, who would you say is a female in your life that has inspired you um, or maybe encouraged or helped you along the most? in your life or even career? I, I really appreciate this question. And it as I reflected, I, it made me think about so many things. And one is just, I was brought up to think about things like, try to be your best self. Like it's not a competition. You're not trying to be just like someone else or better than anyone else. You're just trying to bring your best version of yourself at all times. So as I thought about who, it, it was about, who all and so mm -hmm. if you would humor me i would really love to i'll try to like remember all of them but um women that i work with and have worked with over my whole career who inspired me in a certain way so marcy always has inspired me um you know in terms of service to others right always be giving to others pam tenacity Vicky mm -hmm. intention. Gaga, seeing the best in everyone. She was amazing at that and a great role model for me. Dana, collaboration. Kelly, flexibility. <laughs> Jesse was compassion. Terry is kindness. Reagan is grit. Dr. Hendricks is expertise. Um, Sarah is connector. Marnie is partnerships. Who else? Lisa Monroe is strategic. Jill is friendship. Um, Love that. Who else? Oh, and Laura, my friend Laura is inclusive, always makes everybody just feel like they're part, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, I could probably go on and on, but I, I just, as I was thinking it through, I was like, oh my gosh, there's just these people and they all have this special quality that, mm -hmm. you know, when I think about that in my life, I want to be like them in that way, you know? Yeah. And I think that is such a good thing to hear. And I love that you did that because you know, sometimes we, we kind of put ourselves down and say, if I can't be all these things, how can I make an impact? But uh -huh. really, if we can just be ourselves, like even one thing can make a huge impact 
in even somebody great in a wonderful life like yours and all the people that have impacted it. So I love that so much. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm just so grateful to all of them. And like you said, and so just whenever, no matter what time of day it is, right, you're thinking, oh, I need to be better at this. And then you think yeah. of the person who's really good at it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all the time. I feel that. <laughs> um, so you mentioned tenacity, uh, one of those people's names, which it really leads into what my next question is, because, you know, I, I am very thankful. I know a lot of strong, brave, tenacious women in my life, and you are one of them. And I know that no one gets to the point in their life where they are an executive, they are a great leader without having overcome some things that took some tenacity. And so what would you say um, is maybe one of the biggest hurdles or struggles that you've had to overcome and be tenacious in, uh, in your life or career? Another um, really thought provoking, right? And reflective question that I appreciate. And it may be what every woman's saying, I don't know, but it's really work family balance. Mm -hmm. um, to me, I was very intentional um, to put family first. And, and you know, you, you absolutely, so I did everything I could to bring my best self to work every day when I was at work, but, mm -hmm. but family had to be first. That was my first responsibility. I felt like as a mother and what a great gift that is to get to be a mother. And so um, it, I, I, it was so challenging. And I'll tell you this, um, this opportunity at the Regional Food Bank of Oklahoma is extra special because I'm an empty nester. And so it's the mm -hmm. first time in my life I've actually got to go go all in on mm -hmm. work, right? And really try like give it the time and the effort that I, I want to give it and still feel like I'm able to meet the needs of my family. Um, yeah. And so it's a really cool um, transition sort of um, for a lot of reasons, but absolutely it was putting family first and just knowing that there just wasn't enough left to give everything you might want to give. Right. Yeah. Right. And I, I would say not everyone says that, um, but it is such a true reality. Um, I think for most, especially if you're a mother, your heart is is at home. Your heart, heart is just that your kids carry it with you, with them. And so right. have that in line. I know even for me, if it's not um, in line and it's not where my my first priority is, it affects everything <laughs> so much. So uh, I appreciate that very much. Thank you. So um, there's a lot, I'm sure, and I've seen you around the regional food bank and um, know that you have a lot of amazing people and team and young leaders and people who are, um, I, they're just amazing people, honestly. Uh, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of aspiring leaders as well. So I don't think this last question will um stump you at all. You have so much to offer and so much wisdom even already, but what advice specifically do you or would you give to aspiring leaders who um, maybe specifically want to make an impact in the world for good? Um, because you're no doubt doing that and um, it's, I know it's difficult. So what, what advice would you, would you give a young aspiring leader? You know, it is, it is difficult and I just sort of not getting ahead of yourself. So, I mean, really the, the advice I would give is seek first to understand both mm -hmm. understanding of others and yourself. Um, and I think if you lead with that, you won't ever get too far off track for me personally, just balance has always been a really important thing um, not to get too far off the tracks one way or another and to yeah. try to recognize if you started going off the track, you know, to then pause, reset and, and get going on the right track again. So just, we can't solve these complex problems in the world. Um, and, and we definitely can't lead in that way without a true understanding of the situation, um, the experiences that people have had. And so the more you seek that first, I think the better you'll be at leading change. I love that. Seek to understand so that you can lead change well. That's so good. Thank you so much, Stacey, for your time. Yeah and um, all of the wisdom that you've offered. I know it will inspire others and uh, 
not just through what you do, but what you offer and the wisdom you have as well. So thank you so much. Thank you.